Hi, uh, welcome back to Orbit 2T. It's been a while. However, today we're back in the garage. Well, not my garage. I'm going to see top two-stroke tuner, uh, Mr. Michael McAbbey, who's designed a couple of ways. Designed one pipe for me. Motors had a go at designing the other. Here they are. We're going to detail how these are made. Mix made, hundreds, thousands of pipes. So he's got some real good top tips. So listen in for that. And then finally, we're going to try these two pipes versus the T40 pipe. See if we can get some more power so I can get the AR93 to 100 mile an hour. And also, I'm interested to see what power it makes in this dyno as well. So if you're interested, come with me, get a cup of tea, sit back and watch me go up north to see if these pipes make more power than a pipe I've made. McDonald's action. <laughs> right, we're at Mick Abbey's today. I'll have a look inside in a sec, so just taking the AR in to try a pipe or two. I'll put these in for you. Alright, and cheers, Mick. So, a bit different today. I'm here with Mick Abbey, Mick Abbey Tuning. Hello, Hello. Michael. Is Michael. Your is your mum? Yeah, my mum calls calls it. Yeah, we've been chatting for quite a while, actually, oh haven't we? Oh, God, yeah. Uh, Seven, eight, nine yeah. months, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Mix, we got chatting and that when obviously Mick's been watching the videos and he's had ARs and obviously big into tuning two yeah. strokes. So, we just got chatting. One thing, both sort of pipe men, we like pipes, so uh, we had a bit of a chat, didn't we? We did, yeah, yeah. See, see if I could try and help you out. Yeah. Try and accomplish the goal. Yeah, yeah getting more power. So, Mix, Mix designed one pipe, which we're going to try against the pipe, the T40 that's already there. And then this one, Mix kindly made this as well. And it's a bit of an experiment using the motor. Yeah, using the... Could be interesting. It think. could be, yeah. Yeah, see, see how it goes. Uh, motors, according to your motor software, it's tried to correct things and yeah. give you more power. Very interesting to see how accurate it is um, yeah. against the results that it was giving you. Um, as I say, a few few niggly things there, well not niggly, maybe overthinking, is the header too steep on the motor yeah. one, but only time will tell. Yeah. You know, That's what we're all, really all, Yeah, to... exactly. All, all we can do is, let's see, we shall um, we shall find out. I know, so, the dyno which is over here, also we've got Andy with us today, helping Hi. out. Say hello Andy. Hello. And then we've got the dyno here, so that's the, the truth. The truth, the so, truth will be known. And back to, back to Mick and uh, I'll be helping out and then we'll just take some videos as we go along today and see, see what happens and yep. see what the diner yep. says in the end. What are we up to then, Mick? Right. Um, remaking the section. Yeah, I'm re-cutting re the section out, Dave, because uh, I had problems. Sorry, not problems. I, uh, I'd put two joints in when I didn't need it the it was cre causing the pipe to bend round cut causing the pipe to bend round um too sharp All right. so this will iron it out a bit I see you using allow, those yeah. allow the pipes to fit that's it and that's the that's the sort of tin snips I need as well that's the ones you need insane. yeah where the the jaw where, where the Jaw is it runs straight past the machine. Where right. These the normal it, type. It, it just smashes into yeah, there. Yeah, as, as you're cutting it, it's smashing into here. And if that's your pattern, if you were cutting, I'll just use this paper template. If you were cutting that that way, yeah, you haven't to bend your scale yeah. out the way. Yeah. Whereas the other, whereas these ones will allow the steel to cut straight. No, sorry, <laughs> to cut straight yeah. past it like that. Ah, right. Yeah. I should get some of those. That's your phone again. That's your phone again. <laughs> Never stops. So that now, that is the replacement part yeah. for the header. Okay. So we've took that yeah. bend out rather than the old bend here. Right. Yeah. Rather than that, yeah. what we've done now is straighten that joint up with a new piece. Yeah. And that'll go like... 
Right, lad. Cool. Yeah. And that's on. It's kind of what I had to do. I know when I was making mine, I, I, <laughs> I then, had to keep keep straightening it and straightening it because it kept going the wrong angle. Not there. That on there. That's coming out a bit, a bit tight, isn't it, to there? Maybe you should have. It should be great. Nah. In there like that. What's that like to your yeah. wheel? I think it'll miss. It's a bit close like, isn't it? No, mine's about the same. Put mine on and you'll see. See? That's about oh, the same. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's about the yeah. same. Yeah. That'll do. Yeah, it's going a straight line anyway. Yeah. Right, so you can... But if I was going to do it again, what I'd do is... Um, have that extra joint in and take that one out. Yeah. But then if I cut that and turn that, that angle will be the opposite yeah. way. So the only other thing to do is either print a new yeah. one of them out. But I reckon we'll we'll, we'll just glue. go with that. Go with that for now, Dave. Yeah, glue and it together then, and we'll see what happens. We'll see where we are. Cool. Good old oxy set man. I would like to have a go at this at some point. If we get a chance today. If we do, if we can, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, it's quite still. a small torch, actually, isn't it? It is, yeah. Just set that because it's a bit vicious because it's quite thin steel that we're working on. That will do. No pressure. Hey? Eh? Yeah, where <laughs> I'm. Oops, sorry. sorry mate. Where okay. I burned the bloody thing. Get my eyes in. Oh. One there, one there. One there. Go. And we're away. So it's literally a couple of taps just, and then you just move. I do the same motion with my TIG torch actually. Yeah, yeah, you've got to just stir it up. Yeah, I always sort of think it's like stirring a cup of tea. It is, yeah. That's what I say to myself, yeah, stir a cup of tea. Mix the done. steel, how's that? I'll not touch it, but yeah. Yeah, don't touch it, David, because she'll... Uh, give it will. One of your mini mandrels. Yeah, just put it on there, flatten that out. Just takes the lip, because when you gas weld, it yeah. peels up like that. So ah, basically, okay. you want to flatten the welds off. It also flattens the welds off on the inside as well. Yeah. And it takes the heat out of it as well, it I does, guess, yeah. it's a mass, isn't it? Cool. Looks scabby, because all it is is uh, carbon off the yeah. off the weld. Cool, But inside. Nice and flat. You get that anyway yeah. with the There we go. How was that? So, yeah, that's ready to go, so you're just going to... Just going to weld that on there. Very thin. Okay. Hold it in with the with the old kite. Starting to get hot. No, um, it's starting to. Ah, yeah, get there's a bit. A bit, bit of a gap. Uh, yeah, I do that with just, the teeth sometimes. I have to. Sometimes I have to stick like a little bit of. I use a bit of mig wire. Yeah, mig wire. You see, with with TIG, if you try and gas weld with TIG rods, the door there's a lot of carbon in them. Right, and you get um, with with the carbon, you, you get like a grey, like a grey um, weld on it. Yeah, so that's that. Is that done? Now we'll put it back on the mandrel and just flatten. I've changed the mandrel though. I've changed it. Ah, put your 
Oh, look at that. How's that? Oh, looks good. A little bit of focus. stretched a bit there. I can yeah. get that back down. Try and get it to focus. There you go. Sweet. Just to prove I'm doing so I'm not just stood here. Malcolm yeah. Mick put out some of these patterns. So now then, well, I'm, I'm going to do a header, Rui. I'm going to do the header for the second pipe. Uh, like that. Bit of good old cheap... Um, home. Yeah, home glue home, stick. Home glue stick. Sainsbury's finest. What I find is if you use Pritt stick, it's too gluey. Um, where when you take your paper off, you do that, that holds your template in place. Same where they put tape round, but once you start cutting, that template's on its own. Yeah. And yeah, you can easily mess it up. I always, always do the outside first, Dave. Because then, when you get the outside done, yeah. if your paper moves, you've got your... Ah, you've got a good reference. You've got your references there. More top tips. Uh, I'm learning a lot today. But I think you've probably built probably about a hundred times more pipes than I have. And probably the then some. The, and yeah. some. <laughs> yeah. That's, the, only, the, that's a, only a few months. Is it? Yeah. Uh, there's one, one over there, there and all. Yeah. There's about seven months of off cuts. Two more bits to do. Cool. Right, we'll catch back up when we're on the next bit, I think. Ready right. to go. So, so what we've done now, we've cut the shape out. Yeah. So what I do is I pull my paper back. Yep. Get yeah. slightly over, like that. Yeah. So you've got them like that, peel, fold that in half. Yeah. So that should be centre line. Then with a marker pen, mark down. Down the line like that. And this, if you're wondering what this line is for, it's so uh, when you turn, rotate your joint, 180 yeah. degrees, you can line them up. your line goes to the weld. Yeah, I see. And then it keeps your header straight. So, so that's it, nice right reference. On there, H4, H1. I always put a line at the bottom. If you're doing. This isn't so bad, this header, because it's quite a... Yeah, obvious. A sharp, ang uh, steep angle on this header, but when, you, when you're doing headers with, like, one, one and a half degree taper, yeah. it's quite hard. If, if, if I don't put a line underneath, let me know that that is the bigger end yeah. of the cord. Yeah, It's quite easy to weld them upside down. Yeah, I've done that. Been yeah. there, done it. Reprinted <laughs> it's it. It's all right one side, but the <laughs> yeah. other side's still yeah. very yeah. big as well. Yeah. Right, so now... <clears throat> Now I've done that, we've got the template that you so kindly cut out, Dave. If I glue that on there, and it seems a bit of a fart on, but it's one way of keeping. Ah, uh, well, I know why Instead you leave of, this extra bit now, because you're going to cut straight through that, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Got you. Instead of cutting... I was wondering each, what, what you did. Instead of, instead of cutting each individual section out... Yeah. You might, in your cut, go slightly bigger or smaller. Yeah. Whereas you've already got your edges yeah. there. Yeah. So everything should so line should up. Should line up because you put up. it all yeah. in one go. It's top tip. So this is so you can weld it, but you'll end up with weld one side. Your welds will be opposite on on each joint. Yeah. And then basically. So you just line that up on there. Line that up with that. Yep. Line that with that. That's us. And simply cut. And then cut that shape out. That's that section done. Yeah. And that's that's the tip Mick gave me is leave leave it long and cut through the line rather than drawing it because yeah it yeah because you cut the gonna, line you're going to make an error it. and then another you just compound and everything. That's right. Whereas it's just a lot uh, and it should fit quite nicely well, as well. So that now, 
fast forward this in a bit. Yeah. Put a bit of oomph in it. So that's H4. Mark that as H3. Line underneath. Right. One out because that. That does it so our course, yeah. That's the. I end. would have done that. I would have printed one out. So it's just these next two. Yeah, yeah I don't so need that. So you've just got two. Yeah. Now is that quicker, David, than cutting each individual section out? Yeah, definitely. So, so that on there, that in there, that on there. So when you do it this way, you've already got your yeah half. You've well, already done one. You've done, and you're not having to do three, lots of individuals three, that you can get them all at different angles. That's right. Yeah, it's all one straight. Yeah. yeah. So that. I suppose the only bit is you've got to be accurate when you do do this next bit. As accurate as you can get it. Yeah. But it's nice. Like I like the way that templates a different colour as well. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why I, I like to leave the paper on is so you can see the line. Yeah. And if you if you cut that up and mess it up and then stick it on, you've already started with a problem. Yeah. You better have to mess it up whilst you're cutting it in the water. Yeah. So that's three, two, and then the one last one. There. The last one. Two and three. There we go. All nicely lined up and they're all I say cut, it's the same cut, isn't it? So Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's a really cool way of doing it. Yeah. I shall steal it. You can steal that if you want. <laughs> you don't have to steal it. You can have it. I can have it. <laughs> yeah. It's all mine. Yeah. yeah. Or whoever's watching. Yeah. It's, I yeah. know what most people do to do is tell them it was your fucking yeah, idea yeah. as well. Yeah. So, we need to roll these now, young David. Yep. So that, right. that, to, that, to the that, roller. That, that, to the, and I think you've got the same ones as me. I think they are, aren't they? Yeah, Warco ones, are they? Uh, yeah. No. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Warning. <laughs> Yeah. Warning, do not fit, fit. They are exactly the same as mine, it's the same casting and everything, so yeah. The... Do the job, Nick. Yeah. See? Yeah. You so much quicker than me, I fanny around for you ages. Do, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah. I've about Told at the telly. Go yeah. Do it that way. That's the thing, it's time's money, isn't it? And when you're doing it, exactly. it's yeah, that is that's pretty slick, that actually. See, the, so you've got it at a different angle, yeah. The just... rollers are slightly set with this being quite thin steel, it's probably a bit too too thin because when the rollers are at the lowest point, yeah, they don't quite get it, yeah. But we can tap that round the mandrel, yeah. So there's another one, the awkward yeah. one's going to be that, one. yeah. That long and see, I don't even bend them over. There's no need to. Yeah, that's what lots of time building pipes does for you. You get quicker. There you go. One, two. Oh, I'll see it's bigger then. See what you're going to do here. If you go backwards, forwards, and keep pushing it over because that yeah. wants to be parallel yeah. with the with a roller. I mean it doesn't matter if it twists slightly you can always with this being quite a light gauge steel you can twist it and manipulate it. Now I'm gonna put this in backwards. This is gone how you don't want it. We'll oh, edit that we edit it's this one right, out. Nah, it's It'll all right, just be... So it's got some bend, you're just going to hand manipulate it. Manipulate it. It might not be perfectly round, but we can straighten that up in the mandrel. Yeah, so I'm lacking is lots of, uh, there's lots of mandrels here. So ball end, but tapered. More ball ends, that is a massive one. And that one there. So Mick's got lots, lots and lots of mandrels. Now we're looking now. There we go. Get that round the mandrel. Tap and it. Tap it about and tap it in. That's just the nose cone. Give it five mile an hour faster. So we've just been talking aerodynamics, and Andy's uh, he's got an AR, <laughs> and that's an RS one two five fairing. 
So if I can't get enough power, we may have to resort to uh, aerodynamics. We done there then, Andy. So a bit of cutting disc action. Just so just we can get it to nice fit little a bit slot back. around there and relocate the uh, relocate the joint. Cool. Is this going to fit? Doesn't the world hate a smarter? That looks pretty up. good actually, Andrew. Yeah, it gives Oops. it a little bit more. And you can manipulate, I find if you twist these left and right, oh, you can yeah, re-angle yeah, stuff, you can, over, yeah. you can jiggle it You can get like half angle yep. one way one. Do you know what, David, that fits better than the original owner's pipe. Does it? Mm. It looks quite sexy from the yeah. front. From the front. <laughs> yeah, don't look at the side of it. <laughs> Hey, there's nothing wrong cool. with that that a blind yep. and a gallop knife wouldn't see. <laughs> well, it's pretty good uh, cutting that as well. That is, oh, that's an angle, angle grinder cut. That pretty good. So now, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna weld that one. Set the flame right. You don't want to stay with it. Still being so thin, you don't want too much. Uh, no, because this is 0 0.7 sheet in it. Yeah, well. I think when you measure it, it's nearly 0.5. I'll put a blob on there. Blob on there. <coughs> right, you see that gap uh, there? Ah, yeah, it's starting to pull in. Warm it up. Blob you there. Can't do that with bloody tick. Nah. It'd stick a hole in it. It's, as it's just moved in, isn't it? Yeah. See now, I don't know if you can see that on the video. That's that was out. quite a big gap before, but Mix heated it up and it's just pulled it in. Right. And right. And he's got a tab on the go as well at the same time. It's just. Up to there. Yeah. So Mix just had it on here. Tappy tap tap. Beautiful. Oh, I see. So that's the line you made when you folded it over into half. Before, yeah. Yeah. And before I uh, cut each section out. Yeah. So you got that reference, and then I guess we're just gonna just gonna tack sim that. simply tack and weld. There you go. Sorted. Oh, oh, here comes the man with the man with the butties. Bacon butties. Food. Yum. Ah. Right, we're gonna get set into these. I reckon. Oh. It's good. How are we looking? So we got the so that's the header for the the motor inspired. Yes, the motor inspired. Opt optimized. Yes. Uh, which, well, I'll just pull this round here. So what we could do is if I <clears throat> right. So we'll put that on there. Yeah. We, we use this joint as a twisty. Yep. Uh, if that goes, that's right up there. So that'll be like that. that. And then that's yeah, out the way of your brake. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then just do you want to try your brake, David? There. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's fine. So if we get the marker pen, mark on there. Anywhere. Yeah, just anywhere. As long as it goes between the two. Are we all happy with that? Yeah. Right. Right, to, to, the, weld the, to the welder. The old chop saw. A bit of stinger tube. So this is just to flare it out a bit yeah. so it'll sit on. If that's stuck in, just give it a tap and it'll see it whack it on there. Excellent. Shall yeah. I? Yeah, you can see the difference, can't you? Yeah. And that'll just, I guess it'll that'll just allow it just to seat quite nice. Help it go over yeah. the, uh, oh, that just wants bloody rags getting out. <laughs> yep. Happy with that, Dave? Yep. Dirty boy. Right. You ready? Yep. Track on that. Yeah. 
This is where. But now you got the tack on the other side, you couldn't take it off. I'm going to take it off. Release. That's, That's the fatty one done. Ready for. Just with a test can. A dyno with a test can on. Obviously, this isn't. This is a really test. It see, is. See yeah. how they work. And then I'm going to pimp it up for you now. Yeah. You pimp, pimp my pimp my pipe. Pimp your pipe. So and then to the dyno. Off. And then the second one is there. Literally, pretty much finished now. Just a bit of weld round the stinger to go, and that's it. Be on the dyno. So first up will be the pipe I did, and then we're getting Mr. Michael Abbey's pipe on. Yeah. And see how it goes. Also interesting to see what this bike will make on mixed dyno as well. I mean it's all relative because we're doing all the testing today on the same dyno so there'll be a percentage increase. It's a one for comparison. Yeah, exactly. Oh anyway that's the pipes finished so let me get it right. This one's the fatty one that was optimized in motor from this design so be interesting to see it is quite a bit fatter uh quite steep angles as well so we're both both intrigued aren't we mick on we how's it going to work quite possibly too steep for the transfer ports i've got but there's only one way to find out and that is to prove it on the dyno set up we've got the t40 pipe that i did that gave tested a couple of days ago about 17.2 with this setup which has got a flat line ignition curve so there's no actual curve itself in ignition, just flat. And we can run them all the same. And then try ignition curve if we need to. It might be a bit rich as well, but we shall find out. Right, so I'll I'll get print outs of this later, but just on a run. What do you reckon out there, Mick? All right. Phones going. More, more room for improvement. But yeah, similar power to the T40 pipe, but mixed pipe is a little bit less at the bottom, but a lot more over rev, and it's nice and flat at the top. So that's going to help with uh, gearing. So I'd say that'd be a better pipe on the. Uh, on the road, particularly when I'm trying to get to top speed. But there is still, just behind Andy, the motor optimised pipe to go. So that'll be the next test. But good result. So, this, I didn't get an actual printout, this is a photo of a printout, so I've gone over it in pen just to make it a bit more legible. I'll just talk you through it. So, this was the initial three tests we did with the pipes with a 20 degree flat ignition curve, as is. So, the T40 pipe, which is the pipe I built, is the red line. So, you can see it does pull quite well up the slope, but it's losing over the other two and tails off. A lot more quicker so it actually makes a little bit less peak power it's 19.7 uh, then we had the motor inspired pipe again 
work better than mine little bit of a dip there for some reason and then it over revs quite nice and then the McAbbey pipe a little bit less up the slope but then it fills in this upper upper mid a longer peak a nice round curve and again better over rev so for me if I was running this ignition curve then the McAbbey pipe is going to give me better options with gearing because it's got a wider power band which is what I really need for this top speed attempt. The light curve, that is with a 20 degree flat ignition curve with the CRP T40 pipe that I did and then your pipe is what we can see now but that has got the optimised ignition curve that I did before and as you can see a bit more peak, more at the top but massive over rev so now we're going to retest the T40 pipe but with the optimised ignition and just see I think it's going to fill it out a little bit more but I don't think it's going to match your pipe so I think Job done. Yeah, failing a fluke. Yeah. I think you've won. You've won at making pipes. <laughs> but thank you, David. But that's <laughs> going to be a lot better for the for the speed because it's just got a lot wider power curve, which is the Achilles heel of this is it's pulling the gears. So having a wider power curve is what what it's we what do you really need. need. At the top. We've and that's a bit yeah. down the bottom. But, but from that over rev, wider power band. Yeah. As you can see, more torque everywhere. Yeah. But we'll see, see how this goes with the optimised, but I, I can't see it beating it. It's going to be it's going to be just a little bit more over rev, I reckon. I'll print that. So Mick, what have we got then? Right. This is... Your pipe, yeah, the T40. T40. So um, you've got more power here yeah. down the bottom. From that point there, at eight nine and a half thousand. The other two pipes. This this is my design, the dotted line. Yeah, which is going up. So a bit we've of, lost a little bit the less horsepower off the down the, yeah. of the slope from eight and a half and uh, nine and a half. Mine's taking over. Yeah. They're all peaking round the same, yeah. But mine's holding on longer yeah. on the RPM. It's that RPM yeah. over revving it. This which... straight flat line, yeah, is the optimized from the motor. So it's a little bit better up. A little bit there. in between the pair. It's yeah. picking up here from yeah. there. Um, it's just making a bit more up the slope here, and then it dips down. Yeah, goes, Peaks curls about. over. Yeah, and then tails off earlier. Yeah, but the two, the optimizer of mine, got at the top end, have, have a better, yeah. better drive, but lost a bit. Lost there. a bit there. Yeah, I think the key thing for me is this peak power of the pipe you did. Is yeah, holding it just on. holds on for nearly a thousand RPM. It's same flat. with the torque as well. Yeah. Comes in a little bit later, but once you've got it singing, because you need the revs yeah. for the speed. And uh, yeah, they're the power. So uh, roughly, they're all producing about 20 horsepower. And again, on my dyno, I'm about 17.2 when I tested this setup. So yeah. And again, this is this is reading more like what I'd expect. My dyno does read a bit low, so. But that's fine. I know where we're at now, so it's yeah. good to have a. So, yeah, thank you very much. So we've gained and lost. You're pleased? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that over revs good, isn't it? And, off, it pulls the, the top gears. That's all yeah. I'm bothered about. And that's it. That's going to allow... We're going to be able to stay at peak power to there and then drop and change gear well, rather than doing it here and falling out of the power curve. Well, from there, you've got two... You're nearly three horsepower difference. Yeah. At 11,750 RPM. So, which doesn't sound a lot, but it is a lot. Yeah. Percentage up that top yeah. end. Yeah. You know, and here, 12,000. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah. It's holding on four more horsepower. Yeah. And the further it goes along, the, the bigger the gap is. 
you've got five horsepower difference between yeah. there and there, so I know it's over rev, but cool. at least it's yeah. got it there. It, it's not lost out. Cool. Uh, Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. No problem. And uh, I'll get loaded up now and back to sunny down south, as you call south. it, <laughs> for Shandy. Yeah. So, Mix, uh, give me these pipes so I can keep them uh, for further tests. Obviously, today we saw how he um, makes his pipe with gas welding, which I really want to have a go of. But if you are interested in how I made my T40 pipe, then probably about there, there should be a link. So, check out that video and uh, see how I actually made the T40 pipe itself. Thanks again for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It's great to try some different pipes. I've got lots more stuff to do, so if you appreciate what we're doing, it helps the channel. Give us, give us a like, subscribe, and a comment, and uh, I should see you next time, which hopefully shouldn't be uh, too long. Thank you.